Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I thought I would share with you my top five tips to stay on track and to start the week on a high with regards to your fitness and nutrition goals. I know that a lot of people start their motivation on a Monday and sometimes it can wane towards the end of the week. So these are just five things that I live by that help me really stay on track, eat the right things and fit in the exercise as and when I can. If you're new around here, I would love to have you as a new subscriber. So please hit that subscribe button before you leave and don't forget to like the video. So tip number one is to plan your meals for the week. This is something we do as a family and I find it works really, really well to know where we are every single day. It doesn't take a lot of time. You can either use a notebook or I actually like to use my phone as I've got it on me all the time. So I know if I'm out and about, what I'm cooking that night, so I know how much time to allow to come home. It really helps with stopping the urge to order a takeaway because you feel organized, you've got all the right food in the house. So whether you do your food shopping at a weekend or at the beginning of a week, you could do this maybe the night before or the morning of. It doesn't normally take me more than about 30 minutes and that way it allows you to plan your food and you know exactly where you are and it helps you to stay on track. So tip number two is to plan which days you are going to exercise. Now that could be any form of exercise, but I find treating exercise like a discipline like something you have to do like your job so if you work say three days a week and you know it's on a Monday Tuesday and a Wednesday you know you have to get up and go to work on those three days if you kind of treat exercise in this way um, it really really helps so if you were to put aside however many days that it suits you or hours and just plan it for that week so you know exactly where you are um, so for, for instance this week the days that worked for me were Tuesday, Thursday and Friday and that fit around my schedule. I like to normally do a Monday, Wednesday and Friday but Monday did not work for me this week so in my head I didn't write it down, I just planned the days I was going to work out on. So you could do this by putting it in your phone so that you know exactly where you are. I don't know if you guys use the calendar on your phone or a written one, but either would be fine. I like to use my phone because I have it on me all the time. And this can be a really good way of just knowing mentally when to prepare yourself for exercise. So tip number three is similar to tip number two, but it is to plan a manageable amount of exercise. So if you know you've got parents' evenings, work meetings, social events on a particular week, don't put too much pressure on yourself to do too much or the same as the week before. Just do a manageable amount of exercise. Any exercise is better than none. So even if you were to plan two walks a week, it might be walking your dog, or it could be a little home workout. Whatever it is, plan a manageable amount of exercise. All of us lead very busy lives and it isn't really, for most of us, it's not easy to plan to go to the gym three to four times a week. I know for myself with children, that just doesn't happen. So plan a manageable amount of exercise in based on your schedule. That way you're not gonna kick yourself if you don't do what you did the week before because you know you've planned, that's what I'm gonna do this week, I'm only gonna do two walks and that's what you did. And it will make you feel so much better because one of the worst things you can do is to beat yourself up and feel that you're not doing enough. I think you need to praise yourself for the little things you do and that's just a really good way of doing it. So tip number four is gonna be a controversial one but one I live by and that is to not step on the scales. So put those scales away in the cupboard. I personally feel losing weight and maintaining a healthy weight is an up and down journey. And I think that, you know, one day to the next, you're not gonna be the same with um, hormones, with water retention, with muscle weighing heavier than fat, all those things. I just think you need to go by how you feel in your clothes, how you feel when you look in the mirror and how you feel in your clothes. And if you're happy with that, then I think that that is exactly where you should be. And I think that scales, 
We sometimes get fixated on numbers. Unless you're doing it for a medical reason and you have to be a particular weight, I think that you should ditch the scales and go by how you feel. And tip number five is just to start on a positive. Don't worry about what happened at the weekend. If you overindulge, don't beat yourself up. It's a new week, new mindset. Put a smile on your face. Smash those goals that you put in your phone. Remember to make it manageable and just be really, really happy doing so. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope it helps some of you. Please don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already and like this video and I shall see you all soon.